chat. We're starting off a little different today. We're starting off a little different today. So for those who now don't know, King's Row. about a week and a half ago, Ready for battle. we had our first real redemption of a Flats Reviews. Now for those who don't know, for the new frogs, I used to do a lot of like heavy coaching and reviews. And to be honest, we kind of popped off, right? We, we got a lot of people to improve, a lot of people got better. And if you don't know, for 130,000 channel points, I put on a Flats Review. A lot of people wanted it. I'll probably get away, I'm probably doing away with it eventually. Um, Cause I don't really enjoy doing them that much anymore. However though, I am a man of my word. And we're going Siphon, like two weeks ago, redeemed one for his McCree. So Siphon, what SR are you? I don't remember off the top of my head. And I believe this is a scrim. So it's a little different. Okay, 3k DPS player. So is this just a regular just comp? Okay. So, 3k McCree. And I'm going to ask you before I get started. Am I allowed to be harsh? Am I allowed to be harsh? McCree is one fight than Widow? You didn't answer my question. Okay. All right, you said you said it can be. So chat, what I typically end up doing is I let it roll for a little bit. Get a feel for how they play. So we're watching a 3k Curry. The literal first thing I just noticed, like just, just bad habit, like you used two cooldowns super improperly. You used roll to, to roll forward into a front line, which is just fucking asking for death. And two, you flashbang the shield. Yes, it was to the side, but most Reinhardt's playing on very high sensitivity. Moving that shield just a little bit ain't that difficult, and he could probably do it by accident. Typically good form for you to be flashing over or under the shield on Rickery. Very bad idea to just flash straight into his shield. Yeah, he died, but he was about to fall over anyways. He's playing Ryan in this meta. Yeah, it, it, he, he was already fucking, he was gonna die. He dropped his shield like a complete idiot. Like, him being a bad player and making a bad play should not make you look good. And that made you look good. You wasted your roll, and you just rolled into Widow Sightlights. Side lights. She missed. Again, this is 3K. Very different than a GM game or a high level game. But huge no-no. Also, I don't know why you, you dropped that angle. You have a, you have a mini there? I'd, I'd still fight it. I wouldn't go so deep. Okay, now you, she forces you out. Now you back off. When they force you out, that's when you back off. You need to make... People need to make you move. Especially on DPS. A lot of people don't know is DPS actually are really good at creating space in their own way on these little flanks. Like, if you've ever watched one of our GM games chat... When a good DPS player goes on the flank in this room, it's fucking deadly. So unless the Zarya forces you out, which means she comes in to you, you don't have to go that far out. Also, you're taking a Widow duel uh, with no shield in the middle of the open. The fact that you're not dead yet is just, again, 3k. I would, if you want to take that duel in Challenger, that's fine. That's fine, but I'd ra much rather see you closer to cover. Because then you're just too in danger. Don't know your flashbang range. Nice. Good flank. Good check for the Widow. That was actually good. Again, don't know your flashbang. And this is where your bad habit from fighting the Widow before comes in and hit Archie hard. Watch this. So after you go for this flank, right? You go for this flank. It's actually a good flank. Watch, here's your big mistake. You're gonna die here anyways, but honestly, you probably could've got one more. 
And getting one more maybe gets it into like a weak test because you've only lost one. Right? You're even now. So tell me, this is a good flank, right? Right here. Why? Okay, so you check for the widow, right? You didn't see her, that's fine. You check right here. Why not the second you do this, you don't stay on this corner? You instead walk out into the middle of the point to contest, like a tank player. That's, you said this is your DPS account, right? Are you normal? You're normally a tank player, right? This is your tank player mentality. This is your tank player mentality. I need to contest the point. Fuck the point. You need to be alive, right? So you walking under the middle of the point here sets you up for death. Then you roll, right? The roll, I know, I know what the, like, I know you're rolling for ammo, right? You're rolling for ammo, I get it. But you're rolling like, first of all, you still had another bullet or two left. You're rolling into the wall, but you're still like out in the open, right? Fighting, the, shooting the widow is fine, right? Shooting the widow is fine, but look at, I wanna show you. Look at where you are. You're jumping in the middle of the open. Like, I get this is 3K, but like, they're gonna f you up soon, right? Like, very soon. And this is this is habitual stuff. This isn't like nitpicky. This is habits. This is uh, this is how you form habits and bad habits. Don't know the flash. Oh, I accidentally double clicked. Don't know the flash range. You're not really a DPS player, but again, something to be careful of. And then this is where it screws you. Every single person on their team goes, oh shit. Here he is. And you have no cover to speak of. I know you swap Widow, but I would be surprised if the same um, stuff doesn't carry over. I'd be surprised. That's habits. One shot. All right. Now what you really want me to look at, your Widow. So she know you know she has walls right now. Okay, what does having walls mean in a Widow v Widow duel? Probably don't want to take the fight, but you can still get value. I also... No, 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 why? No, she can literally see you. Oh, dude, please. Please, no. I can tell you that was coming from a mile away. Bad habits. Break them. Little thing, small thing, okay? Small thing. Grappling out of spawn is fine to get back. The second one I'm a little scared of, because grapple's a very long cooldown. That's your 12 second cooldown, and you're about to be in the fight for about three meters. Like, like let's all be aware of how far. These are little things, okay? These are little things. These are little things, but all these little things add up a lot in the end. You just grappled about six feet. Nice. Don't do that. The only reason I say that is because look of where your team is fighting and their team is fighting. You don't really know what you could be looking for around this corner. And on top of that too, you could have used it to go to the left and get a faster, more aggressive positioning. I mean, it, only if it's like really bad. Other than that, I'd just leave it. Okay, so this is good, okay? This is good. I don't really like the positioning here in the beginning because this sight line up on the top right is like Widow Heaven. But regardless though, this is decent in the beginning, right? I would have preferred you to go left. This is where I'm slightly concerned, but I'm okay. They fucked up. Take the duel, good shot. Good aim so far. So this is actually where you would want to take the duel. You don't know she's gone. That's fine. I like this flank, this rotation. Always check the window. Nice. Good check. Now you know you're free fire. Free fire. You're good to go. Good check. Boom. That's beautiful. Now you know that the widow's still up there somewhere. So you can either A. 
Um, I don't know if you noticed, but they have a Ash and a Widow. They ain't gonna flank you from over there. They have a Lucio, I guess, but if the Lucio comes for you, you got, you got bigger problems. So, your first Venom Mine is good. Venom Mine is very good for, like, knowing where people are gonna be coming from and watching your back. It's just part of your toolkit. Don't waste it. That's a waste. Hello there. Get here. Thanks, Toast. This is all good. One of the biggest things you want to do on Widow is not sit in the same spot. This is a great rotation. Watch the window. Beautiful. All good. You just heard her hook, I think. I don't know if you heard that. I heard it. I hope you did too, but you would have just died. So, let's talk about this, okay? Let's talk about positional awareness. This is great. Okay? This is great. Like, should putting these kill, like, shoot shots on these guys, okay? Can you tell me, would you have been able to do the same job from, say, here? Or here? As you're doing from right here? I would argue yes. Okay. So you didn't hear the Widow grapple, but positional awareness should put you in a spot where even if you fuck up a little bit and don't hear something, you're still safe. This Widow should have blew your fucking head off. But missed. Aggressive peak. I'm not totally crazy about that one. I'm not gonna be honest. Just get. <laughs> She is, she is just missing at this point. Again, with the Venom Mine. You are just mechanically better than her right now, and that, is a good, that was a good rotation, let me be honest. That was a good rotation. But stop wasting your goddamn Venom Mine. It's gonna drive me insane. There is no reason you should lose almost any duels to this Widow right now. You have the defensive peeker advantage, and you're mechanically beating her. No this looks like free love for you. Now you're really far back. Okay. This is actually a harder angle to shoot from than, say, up here. Why'd you go this far back? Are you scared of their widow? Rolled her again. Don't be scared of her now. She doesn't even have a pocket. Oh, don't be, don't be scared. You're, oh, man. This is, I don't, uh oh. I didn't, I don't like, I didn't like that at all. And it, it just, you just, yeah. Here's the thing. I know Lucio coming at you can be kind of scary. First off, I wouldn't be scared of the Ash. I wouldn't be that scared of the Ash. I'd take the aggressive peek with her until she headshots you, then run. The Lucio, though? Come on, man. SMG and Mayhem. He, dude, he was, he was half health and anti, too. I would just start SMGing him and meleeing him, and then on top of that, too, this is where your bad, your bad, um, your bad hook, um, uh, habit comes in. You grapple to go six feet away. So you panic and grapple six feet away from a uh, Lucio. When you didn't panic, you could have recognized the situation of their tanks pushing up and just grappled up top and been in a much safer position. Instead, you grappled three inches away and just was frontlining a Zarya. You're just toast. Just toast. Chat, remember I said to you guys in the beginning, I know they were little things, but they add up. These are the situations where it adds up because you're not thinking about it. It's it's just like an instinct and your instincts are failing you. Now you have my attention. Personne à mon regard. Is that it? Good. You know they have a widow somewhere, but here's the key. Where, where you are right now, they'd have to peek you, so you're pretty safe. You're taking an aggressive position, you're looking for the widow. Just good shots. Honestly, good shots. I'm not gonna be nitpicky here because you're gonna you're gonna lose anyways. But you you still see your bad habits, like slightly. You can see it. They just they just keep coming back. Like you're gonna lose that, there's nothing to say. It's fine. But 
Let's you can try you can tell again. that you have the bad habits there, even in in lost situations. It's not like you're giving up. Like you're still trying to. We all been there. We all been there. Okay, this might have been the dumbest thing I think I've ever seen, though. I'm gonna be honest with you, Here Chief. I am. You fucked up the grapple. Okay, fine. It happens. Why did you go to do it again? Okay, let me tell you DPS positioning and positional awareness, okay? Positional awareness of what I just told you on second point also has to do with lost engagements and re-engaging, okay? So once this happened, okay, I'll be honest with you, Chief. When this happens, okay? You're now seeing your teammates point of view, correct? You're seeing your teammates fighting. You know where their team is and where they are on the map. You can see the car, you can see your team. From that idea, you can understand where they should be positioned. Where are their snipers gonna be? Where are their tanks gonna be? Where are their supports gonna be? You walking out and taking a hyper aggressive hook into where the best widow position is on this map for an attacker is just bonehead. What you should do in this situation is realize that's where they're going to be or generalize that's where they're likely going to be. Because this is where they'll be, I'll show you. There's a few places. They could either be here, they could be here, they could be here, or if they really are fucking aggressive, here, okay? So let me ask you the question then. Why go out the left door and keep yourself from getting a good contest? If you go out the right door, okay? If you go out the right door here, what you can do is you have this cover. You can peek this door. You can check up top. You can check this corner, right? What I was talking about right here. You can check this. Let's say they're not there. Let's say they're on that back, you know, panel over there. Once you check this and see this is clear, you can start to come out this way. Check again. Check again. And then take an aggressive positioning up top. Now you can challenge or put shots on their tanks and their supports. But instead, you're autopiloting and just doing the same thing you did last time and getting your head blown off. A big o'clock. Now we're going to try the right door. It's a little late at this point, though. See, now, now their widow is like an even safer spot because... I'll also tell you this, this is very much preference. I'm not a Widow player, but I'm friends with some really good Widow players. And when I used to try to play some Widow, this is what they told me. Um, the second this happens, I'll show you. The second this happens, you see the tracers? You cannot look away from this area. You can scope right here so you can see both sides because they have an ash that could still look at you. But this Widow has now become your number one priority. Your tank player instinct is telling you to just get on something else until then. Your widow player instinct should be, I need to kill the other threat. And unfortunately, she's not going to peek you. But you still need to be in a position that when she does peek you, you can punish. So she got the first shot on you again. She just sucks. She got a good shot on you. That's fine. Honestly, you probably could have waited till she woke up and then headshot her when she stood up, but that's fine. I can't blame you on that one. What I can blame you on is, is your weakened dust. They were really bad. Okay, let's see how you roll out here. Really aggressive peak. Fine by me. Wanna be aggressive? Be aggressive. Is this good? All good. Everything here is good, good, good. I'd probably start thinking about a rotate. Now, nah. you know what? You did it that time. 
You did it that time, what'd you see? You saw a tracer. Watch. See the tracer around? Now he's like, wait a minute. I gotta duel that. Now I'd be very careful because you're still standing out in the middle of the fucking open when you're dealing you're dueling her here, so you're not You didn't. I'm sorry, sir. Did you just take a peek while reloading? Venomine, where do you think Sombra will come? No, that's, no. That is not even close to on your plate right now. That should not even be in your mind. If that's what you're thinking right now, that is really, really bad. Again, you are mechanically just better than her. You turned your head, but it doesn't matter if you turn your head. Watch this. Watch this. First off, you weren't watching your ammo count, which happens, okay? But here's the thing. Look to your right. Look at all this space. You could have utilized to load and then hook up if you need to, to change position. This is more of a map position where we're in. Oh, you don't have your hook. Okay. So I guess you could just go on the side either way though. But keep yourself from being in the middle of the open when, see, that widow did what you do and just hooked for three inches. Like, great, you got yourself killed. Nice job. And if you didn't get yourself killed, then you would have had no hook and you just stood there. You know what I mean? That is them being dumb. You are you are just better than they are right now. So abuse that. Good shots. I'll be honest with you, Chief. I hate shooting Lucius. I hate shooting Lucius. If you struggle with Lucius too, just don't shoot him. Let him leave him for someone else. He does so little. He's ass right now. Just shoot the Zarya. She's full HP, full HP and full charge. Double dinker. Just kill him. Just kill him. Fuck him. Interesting venom line. Can you explain to me this one? <clears throat> silence my phone. People can't take a hint. So explain to me this, okay? So you get the pick on the Ana. Are you this scared of Lucios? Like seriously, like this terrified at Lucios? Because this Lucio rushes at you. So you hook shot up to reload to throw your venom mine. Now you know the Lucio's behind you. So you get scared and you drop. Like you're just, you're just, you're in the worst space you could, you could have been. Like, yeah, your tanks were there to save you, which is good. And you also get a good nice sleep. But like dropping in front of a full charge Zarya and a full in a Roadhog in this meta just is just death. No one can hide. Missed the ledge? You didn't miss the ledge, you walked right off of it. You walked right off of it. I'd be shocked if you missed it. You walked right off. Give me you missed. Jumped off like a f frog. Little things add up. Now you're in trouble. Good. No one can hide from my sight. The great thing is, I probably don't have to go too much further with this, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Because I've already explained everything that is wrong, because it's a combination of little things. Chat, who here, give me a one if you've played sports, give me a two if you've never played a sport before. Give me a one if you've played a sport, give me a two if you've never played a sport before. I need to know now, quickly. Lurkers too. Everyone, you don't, don't sit out. I hate doing these, so I'm gonna drag you guys into the conversation. So, for those people that have done sports, okay? If you've done sports, what are some of the things that they always tell you? Fundamentals and mechanics are some of the most important things in sports, right? If you played football, right? 
there's many, 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 many little things that you get, te- that you get taught to do that over time get put together into something large, right? Like bending your knees lower, bending your knees lower, putting your hand out in front of you more, um, like making a diamond pattern with your hands to catch, like lots of things like over time get put together into making something better. So from the beginning of this, I, I have spotted at least 15 little things that are are very bad habits to have that are putting together to make it Thank you. be where you are. I'm sure where you get. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, now I see why you're scared of Lucio. Lucio's harassing your, your Ana and probably screaming. This is where I would take the left side angle. So I'm I would, I'm curious on where you go. So, positional awareness here. Look at your Zarya. This means your Zarya is not fighting anything right now, right? This means that where she is on the map, there is nobody. Which means even over here, there's nobody. Where you are right now, like, maybe you'll get it in a few seconds, is understanding that there's nobody here. I'm just not a big fan of this positioning. I, I, you get a huge kill on the Sombra, but the Sombra's just an idiot. Just EMP'd you all with nobody here. I just don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Like, sitting behind the cart two feet away on Widow is just, just not it. See where their Widow is? Their Widow actually has pretty decent positioning, but you're just mechanically just destroying her. Like, you heard the Widow shot behind you, which no, which means you know where she is. And, like, you just just fail to, to, to realize it. Like, she solo kills your, your Zarya. And then almost takes your head off, too, but she missed. She just misses, you know? If this Widow had better mechanical skill, which she, she gets you on that one. If she had more mechanical skill here, she'd probably be beating you by a lot. It probably wouldn't even be close. Why is it on the flank? That's it's very normal, actually. That's actually a good. That was good positioning from her. So Widow had walls. If you remember back here, at the somber EMP, right here. This time I. Their Widow has just popped walls. Wait, it was, where is it? It was right. Where was that? Is gonna call it out? Right here. So the Widow pops walls, which means she knows exactly where you are, which means that she can position herself and move around freely. And she gets you. You are failing to uh, adjust to things that like are common play for most DPS players, I believe, or high level DPS players. Why did it go backwards? Okay. So now you're gonna take this aggressive angle up top, which is where you probably should've been the first time. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Freebies. Actually, freebies. You went on the flank there? That's not your fault, though. That's You You did your job. Your soldier? Nice. You did your job. Beautiful. Okay. My question to you is, where are you going to go here? By the way, I'm just going to watch the rest of this attack, and then I'm not going to watch any OT. I don't need to. Here is something that you should always be doing, especially in the Widow Duel. Widow Duel is very different than most DPS duels. You should be spot checking all the spots for where Widow will go. And it looks like you're going to do it. And then you don't. And then you flip up to her. That was this close. That is the dif That is the difference between her having good mechanical skill and not having good mechanical skill. She missed again. That was another time that all oh, your head just should have, should have disappeared. Like she had the angle on you. You're gonna lose this. Is fine. Just stand up, grab. 
Good kill though, just to, to reset our energy. Beautiful. Yo, Circus Dan. Circus Dan with the five gifted something. Chad, can we spend some Flatso H's for Circus Dan? More like this, please love it. The only way you're getting these is with the 130,000 channel points. I actually don't enjoy doing these that much anymore, um, but in small doses, I can take it. So, thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Much love. Okay. Okay, I like this angle. Now that you've spot checked both of those. There we go. That was the third, that was the third angle. There was here. It was up top, and it was over here. On which one to check? You checked him. Nice job. That's how you do it. Okay, now your team's getting aggressive here. Okay. So here's your chance. Here's your choices. Remember what we talked about. What are the three best positions for Widow here? Here. Here. Or somewhere in this area. Okay. I wouldn't recommend this area because it's still a little too close to their front line. Over here is not bad, but they're running for the hills. I'm oh, sorry, I, I didn't flip back like an idiot. Tactical visor activated. Nice. Now let's see. You come over to the right. See, this is see that's where no one can hide Overwatch is very much timing, right? You got the good pick on the Ana. Nice. I would have immediately went for this position instead of like going right and like going slow. Because now their team's gone. Either way though, now you're in the good positioning. As you can pick up on this stuff faster and like pick up the pace, you'll be able to improve faster. You know, like it's actually it's a crazy we've watched like silver and, and bronze players before silvers and bronze players actually make right decisions a good amount of the time. They're just very slow at making the right decision. It takes too long. Beautiful. Now, once you kill this Hanzo, I would assume that there's probably not anyone else coming this way or back up and take the position left. Okay, again though, no. small, very small, but it's a speed thing. What I saw is this 3k, or it's 2.9 3k. It's very slow, it's very small, but it's speed. It's a good four seconds, five seconds or so. You had walls? Did you have walls up? Wait, yeah, you have walls. Wait, oh man, you have walls. You can see that there's nobody coming. And if anyone's coming, it's Ana. Faster now, come on. The yeah, Ashes is the main, main threat. Ashes main threat. Ashes main threat. Ashes main threat. When the res is going off, the res becomes main threat. But Ashes main threat. Where did the, where did the mercy go? He's your biggest fan. Siphon idolizes you. Chavi, thanks for the tier one, my dude. I appreciate it. Did you notice something here? I want you to notice something. I want you to notice something. It's very important. Okay. When you're taking a duel like this, and now you're looking for the the the, the ash, what do you see? You see a Zarya. You see, you know where the Ana is, or you knew where she was, and they're rezzing the hog. Okay. Where does Mercy go? You see her disappear, and she's holding the beam on someone, which means you now know where Ash is. Where can Ash go? You didn't look for the Ash at all. At all. This Ash could have went for this left side flank and blew your head off by now. You needed to check earlier. And more so, more so, and once you give the spot check, then you can free fire even harder. Beautiful shots. Beautiful shots. Mechanically, there's, there's no issues. Chat, do we have Pain's Champ? Do we have that emote? Do we have Pain's Champ? Do we have it? Because this is a Pain's Champ. Three inch hook. You're dead. You're you're just literally dead now. No escape. No you, my, my, and, and the walls? You, oh. 
I this hurts. I'm gonna be honest. Sophie, thanks so much for the Twitch Prime. I appreciate it. Welcome to Flat Chat. Much love. Should have taken Hagar? No! No! I mean, yes, but no, that's not the problem here. The problem is shouldn't not should I should have taken high ground. You get three beautiful kills and you get greedy for the mercy, which happens, okay? It f happens. But here's the key, okay? I want you to know something. Your team is f dead, right? Your team is just dead. And that's just how it is sometimes. And your tank player instincting you is saying, I need to push the cart. So you want to push the cart and kill the mercy. Okay? This is where your instincts collide. And I'll watch you the exact moment it does. Right here. This is where it collides. Because you go, I unscoped on a mercy. And now you panic. You reload. You go for the hook. You go, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Which you just went for a three inch hook, by the way. And now you're in a duel with three people. SMGing for your life. No one can hide. You pop walls? Cause I don't know. And and now it's over. It's over. That's a hard panic, and that's a, a a clashing of your instincts right there. That was a culmination of you trying to of playing a new role where you're a tank player now playing DPS, and on top of that, having a lot of really bad habits. That was all of your bad habits just went and just slapped into one sandwich of death. It happens. It's okay. You will recover. But I just want you to see that when I tell you that you have a lot of bad habits that need to have time to, to be with every fixed death, and molded together and, or unmolded, I mean that with love. I mean that with love. And I mean it as a truth. Try dragon, you're gonna lose that, it's fine. I am a little, I don't know. I feel like Widow, swapping off Widow wasn't the play. Like, they don't have anything to contest you other than Hanzo, and you're playing into them. With the Hanzo. Like, okay. I'll be honest with you, Chief. Your Hanzo's not, not the hottest so far. But if you had a Widow right there, dude, you just would've blew her head off. Blew his head off. Hitscan is dominant right now. Dominant. You're playing into them... their weakness. With the swap. Nothing wrong with burning Bob here. Here's something that I'm going to just tell you right now. Don't abandon your teammates like this. Like, honestly, this Winston fucked up hard. Break his bub. Walk through, break his bub. Shoot at him, break his bub. You get the great kill on the auto. Like, mechanically, you're just destroying. But I'm going to be honest, like, that, w that, that monkey, let's say that monkey... Or your team didn't do such a great job of killing him. Mm, got a little too much. Could have got too much value. It's a bad habit to have. I'm gonna be honest. That's my that's my opinion. Good kill on the other though. Again, mechanically you're showing your prowess. Like you're hitting these crazy shots. Like absolutely crazy shots. Like nuts. Like their Hanzo is just trash compared to you. Like I'm sorry. And, and like you're you're like kind of hard carrying in a way, right? But it's it's it's, it's this, this little 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 things. I kind of want to watch the rest now. Shit, I kind of want to watch the rest. Okay, chat, don't hit me. I want to watch the rest. Because just because I didn't like him being a Hanzo. I think you're here for a little too long, but then again, this is weird diamond. Are you doubting yourself? Are you doubting yourself? Can you, can you, can you answer me a question? You were doing so good on these shots. How come you're taking so long to take the shots now? 
You're taking forever and then you're missing You just I think I feel like you just lost your rhythm like you just got really I don't know self-conscious Did you get so self-conscious? Nice Good positioning calm down this is their their threat to you doesn't even exist anymore he's dead calm down you went from not taking any shots to rushing like very low percentage shot right there panicking now here's the thing here's the thing once you've taken this angle and they get back into this corner i would do another rotation okay so thinking positional awareness here your team is covering this side right like this is where they've taken their angle you're watching the same angle now that they're running a shield unless they're breaking their shield you need to be on a different off angle i would have went over here after i would have headshot the rhine once you headshot the rhine and reloaded i would have went that's would have been me though no one can hide from my sight. What did you just try to do? I'm sorry. What what did you just try to do? You know you have a widow hook, not a roadhog hook, right? Like, you're not hooking the Zarya. Like, you can't, like, and, like, kill her, right? Like, that hook brings you to the point. There's a Reinhardt behind you. Just saying. You figured it out. Please don't tell me you're about to do what I think you are. Are you about to fall on the point? There's still a ride behind you! Why? Why? You were playing so well and then you like you got in your own head and just panicked. Like, like, let me I'll watch I can tell the exact moment you panic. Right here. This is the moment you panic. Right here. Bang. That's the beginning of the panic. Miss. Miss. Good headshot. Reload. Doesn't move. Scared to move. Miss. Shield shot. Do nothing. Frantically looking for targets. Don't know who to shoot for. Mercy. Panic. Go to go to point. No, not point. That's Reinhardt. Go in the air. Go back to point. Reinhardt's still behind. Panic. Hard panic. Calm down. You were doing really good. But you've gotten your own head here. You hardcore got in your own head. This was a winnable game, strictly because of you. That doesn't look winnable anymore. So. I want you to realize something here, very important, okay? And this goes for anyone in chat. This literally goes for anyone in chat, not just him, okay? I want you to realize something. At this moment right here, at 7.30, he hardcore panics and goes to point. Instead of playing to live as a DPS player should do, especially a sniper, and dies at 7.30. They finally lost the point at 8.15. Your team stalled for 45 seconds while you were dying over and over and over. If you don't panic and play to live on the high ground and play slow and re re like recoup yourself and look for, sh for kills and look for picks, instead of trying to jump at the point at Azoria, you have a chance to win this back. But instead, you were dead. This is where it goes for anyone in chat. 
you can't help if you're dead. You can't do it. It can't happen. There's certain players and certain heroes that should be on the point. Ball, main tanks, stuff like that. But the second the panic set in and decided to sit on the point, I'm not gonna watch you play me, I'm gonna be honest. The second he panicked and said, listen, this ain't this isn't gonna work. I I I, I need to stay stay a point here and like completely forgot what your job was, you lost the game. Right there. So I hope that's helpful to you. There's a lot of shit that to unpack there. A lot of shit to unpack there. Um, so I'm sorry if I overwhelmed you with it. But to be honest with you, like it's it's just it's fixable bad habits. It's very fixable. Like mechanically, nothing's wrong. Not even a little bit. Mechanically, you're all playing everyone around you. You just stayed cool, stay calm, stay collective, and popped off. I think you win those. I'll be honest. I think you win those.